before he became a mega billionaire solely through his investment skill, and after he earned his bachelor's degree from the University of Nebraska in 1949. Warren Buffett took his talents to the Morningside Heights neighborhood on the Upper West Side of Manhattan to earn his master's degree in business from Columbia University, studying under the tutelage of Professor Benjamin Graham, widely known as the father of value investing. More than 15 years prior to Buffett's arrival on the Columbia campus, Graham co-authored Security Analysis with fellow Columbia professor David Dodd. A book widely considered the seminal investing treatise published after the enactment of the Securities Exchange Act of 1934. Before the establishment of the Securities and Exchange Commission, flim flam artists and stock scammers ruled the roost on Wall Street and were given few disincentives to making up numbers regarding the operating results of companies they were promoting. Once the reporting of financial information was standardized and required by federal law, it provided a basis for evaluating companies based on things like earning power, efficiency with assets and stockholder equity, and other real-world measures of financial performance. Before his death in 1976, Graham went on to publish several more books on how to spot attractive investments, perhaps none more consequential than The Intelligent Investor, in 1949. In this still influential investment tome, Graham addressed the idea that there were two types of investors, aggressive or enterprising and defensive. Defensive investors are the most risk-averse. For defensive investors, Graham advised not to consider buying stocks trading above 15 times earnings per share, or more than 1.5 times book value per share. Book value, also called shareholders' equity, is the difference between assets and liabilities. Combining these two provisos into an equation and solving for the geometric mean yields the so-called Graham number, a price above which a defensive investor should not pay for a stock. Graham believed that it was better to be conservative and to select only stocks priced by a margin of safety below their intrinsic value. There is nothing wrong per se with having a valuation governor on one's stock analysis, but the Graham number is far too simplistic to be employed en masse, especially in the current climate where book value can be a moving target, says John Buckingham, longtime value investor and editor of the Prudent Speculator newsletter. Think of the hold till maturity assets on bank balance sheets or all the goodwill companies have accumulated from acquisitions that could be written down or written up. Buckingham makes a good point regarding the book value of financial firms, so in the stocks presented below with a stock price below the gram number, we exclude any company from the financial sector.